So here with Josh Fraser after the first game against VFL opposition. Josh, how'd you, how'd you sum it all up? Yeah, look, it was um, probably typical of a, a first hit out. We, um, there's plenty to take away, uh, positive and some areas to improve. But you know, I think as, as a footy club, we're, that's going to be the process for a little while where we're, we're trying to refine the way we want to play, move the ball, defend, all those sorts of things. So um, I'm really keen to get home now and have a look at the tape and, and try and pull that apart. But um, there were some things that we should be excited by and there's some things that we, we really need to knuckle down on and, and get right. And it seemed like... For the majority of the contest, there's about a three or four goal discrepancy there, and it seemed like the boys really stuck at it. How yeah. did you rate their endeavour? Yeah, look, generally the contest was okay. I just think that um, you know we need to be a club that endures. So when that three goals turns into four, we don't turn our toes up. We make sure that we wrestle that back to the three goal margin and, and close the gap to two and, and so on. But um, you know, again, for one of our guys today, it was their first hit out. So. I learned a fair bit about some of our personnel, um, and again, some, some pleasing things and some things that we need to challenge individuals on, but um, nice to get one under the belt, as I said. You said there were some positives to take from it. What did, you, what did you have in mind? Oh, look, bits and pieces of everything, really. Um, I think we just battled a little bit of consistency today with the way we wanted to play, but um, certainly on both ends of the footy, offence and, and defence, there were some, some pleasing things. Um, and individually, um, you know, something like Kieran Burns goal, for example, was something that was pretty exciting. and. I guess for me, coaching him for the first time, I've got a, a better understanding of what he's capable of. And what what do you hope to, to achieve before the Richmond game in one and a half weeks time? Yeah, look, just continue to refine the way we want to play. Um, get a really good understanding of the expectations around our values. Um, and that's something that will come out of today's game. And um, I think the next week to 10 days will be a really good learning opportunity for our group. So I'm excited by that. And, Excited to front up again for our second one against the Tigers. And there's eight VFL boys out there today, but no Brent Bransgrove, Kieran McGuinness, the Russell boys, and Tim Tetesky, so there's still a fair bit to, to add in. Yeah, there is. There's still some experience to come back into the side. We exposed a few of the younger players today, which was um, which was deliberate. Um, and again, you know, for them and their development, that's going to be a positive. But uh, the guys you've just mentioned are certainly going to add to our, um, our senior VFL team. Well, Josh, thanks for your time and best of luck. Thanks, Christian. Good on you, mate.